going on y'all Noah here again with Papa's old Chevy and today I'm gonna be attempting to drop my truck down just a little bit I went and got some drop shackles so hopefully I'm gonna drop two inches in the rear and then after we're done with that I'm gonna put her back on the ground see what it looks like and then we may have to do something on the front to drop it to just a little bit but I'm not sure yet so first things first we're gonna do the drop shackles in the back drop it down let y'all see what it looks like and then after that's done we make it into doing some cutting this is what we're starting with and I know she already looks sort of level right here that's because I replaced the springs in the back but now I want her to sit just a little bit lower now naturally from the factory these trucks have about a two inch difference in the back than they do the front so the way that you can actually fix this is by going in and replacing the shackles in the back with a shackle that is taller and that raises the rear of the leaf spring up which in return should drop the truck down just a little bit. And this can be accomplished by going to your trusty advanced auto parts and picking up some drop shackles. These drop shackles are a one to two inch drop for the rear. Should have a one inch and a two inch option because you've got two holes that are available. Now we're gonna put these right here. First thing we're gonna do is get two mounting points, two mounting points on the frame and we're gonna get the jack underneath the ass end of it so that we can actually move the axle freely and take the tension off of the bolts inside of there. Now we will take the drop shackles like this and put this in here like this. I'm going to also go ahead and mount the one on this side before we start doing the jacking so that the actual spring has a little bit of free movement. Now we're gonna jack the jack up, raising the axle up, making the springs go up so that we can get the spring into the shackle. All right, so as you can see, we're running into a problem where I can't quite get into this top hole where I wanna be. So I'm gonna take a ziz wheel and I'm gonna try and notch this out a little bit so that this will fit up here. And we'll be doing that on both sides. Now we've got a notch as you can see we got it in the top hole now it's time to do the other side we've got the shackles in the back now we have about a two inch drop in the back she's sitting a little bit more level for me now all right so we got the drop shackles installed on the rear of papa's old chevy now the issue is we installed them and I put the bolt up just a little bit too high so I'm going to drop it down a bolt so that we can actually level the truck out and not squat the truck. When doing the rear shackles the top hole here is going to be a two inch drop the second hole down is going to be a one inch drop. At first we installed it here and it turned out to squat the truck just a little bit I'm not a fan of that so we are going to install it right here and hopefully level it out some better or more and you know make it look right. to the actual leaf spring back here will not fit inside of this unless we trim this down just a little bit so now we can mount it like so now the shackles are trimmed they are mounted correctly and nothing is hitting anywhere so now let's drop it down for the test okay this is much better much less of a squat and she's actually sitting level now We have now got the drop shackles installed on the back end of Papa's old Chevy. So now you should know how to do a two or a one inch drop for the rear to level your old square body out. 
Now, y'all have to stay tuned because eventually we will be slamming this thing pretty much like I, I think I'm gonna do a four inch drop, maybe a six, I'm not 100% sure. Um, eventually we'll be dropping it, but for now, we got it leveled, it looks good, and I am perfectly happy with today. There are no cutting of the springs that are gonna be needing to be done, it is all right. But other than that, the install is complete. I hope this helps somebody out there. And for now, I'm out. So peace, I love y'all, later, and I'm out.